Hey everyone, this is HowTo Slash Tutorials, a uh, new YouTube channel that features me and my friend showing you guys out there how to download free stuff for your computer and your iPod, including music, movies, TV shows, and games for your computer, such as GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, uh, or more complicated games such as Fallout and Crisis, stuff like that. Uh, these tutorials and later videos will regard uh, torrent downloads such as Kickass Torrents or Pirate Bay, very good website, or direct downloads such as Rapid Fire or uh, Media Fire or Mega Upload. If you don't know anything about this, these are websites where you can download uh, links for games, TV shows, and movies and stuff like that to put on your iPod. Um, yeah, from the internet. So today, starting us off on YouTube, we're gonna do a very simple. Uh, process which involves no program downloads. It's very easier than the last tutorials that were on YouTube and it's based on downloading videos directly to your iPod through iTunes. You must have that installed. So open up your main internet browser. I already got it up. Open up your main internet browser, Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, anything like that and type in YouTube.com and basically in the search bar you want to enter any video that you want on your iPod. So just type in the grapist. Well, you don't have to do this video, but it's very funny. And, uh, yeah, you should check out this channel. Make funny, very funny videos. Great actors, too. So, um, you're gonna want to open up it loading. Make sure it works on YouTube and all stuff like that, or we'll have some problems. And then you want to copy the URL of the video when it's running. And then in a new tab, just to keep you organized and stuff like that, I don't know. Uh, open up the website keepvid.com. It's all one word, spelled like this can't read that on the on the computer for some reason I'll just provide all these links in the description below my video and uh, basically on keep vid you're gonna wanna copy the URL from here and paste it into the URL uh, bar of the new website keep vid on a new tab and click download you must have the Java applet installed on your computer already to provide the links right here for some reason I don't know why and uh, you click any of these three. You're gonna have to download MP4 high quality for it to be good in iTunes and on your iPod because that's the only format of video that could be uh, supported on the iPod and iTunes itself. So you're gonna want to save that into any folder that you want on your iPod. Um, I'll save it into desktop. And yeah, I'll replace it. I'm not gonna download the whole thing again since I already did right here. So I'm just gonna cancel this download. And once that download's done, close up internet and everything. It'll be a video link in QuickTime or whatever uh, uh, whatever video player you already have on your iPhone, um, on your computer. So just download uh, the movie file and you can play it right from your computer. Uh, so you're done with that or if you want it to be transferred to your iPod you have to make sure that your iPod is already connected to the computer for it to be supported in iTunes in the importing process. So after that you're gonna wanna open iTunes for it to be transferred to your iPod. And you're gonna wanna sorry. You're gonna wanna click file and add file to library. And then you're gonna look for your uh, video file which you downloaded from the internet from YouTube, the video that you wanted. And now you're gonna wanna put that in your library. It's being transferred now. And once that's done, it should come up as this is just old. Once that's done, it should just come at, up as the video which would be played in iTunes. Now it's played in iTunes and if you want it to be transferred to your iPod, just X that out and depending on which um, setting you have on your iPod, whether manually manage or just like uh, import all files on your library or whatever well for me I have manually, ma manually manage so you're gonna wanna just drag it to your iPod which should be right here. I'm doing voiceover on my iPod so it won't be connected to the computer but if your iPod's connected it should show it right there and you're just going to drag it to your iPod, uh, remove your finger from the mouse, and basically it'll just import and uh, disconnect your computer, click eject, and then it should be in the movies tab on your iPod. So, thanks for watching, please rate this video and subscribe to support us in later videos.